Welcome, welcome, you guys. I'm gonna look not too smart putting on this rack here in a second. You'll see why. So we're here at a local IHOP. We're placing that flashometer. Just trying to finish it quick, maybe get some free pancakes, but Destiny had other plans. So you can see here, I forgot to shut off the water. And now they're not only getting a new flashometer, but also a swimming pool here in the women's restroom. So I don't know if it was the eclipse that messed with my head or what, but I was finally able to turn the water off. And because we ain't no quitters, we're gonna show you the rest of the video here. We're actually just taking off from the tailpiece and on, putting on the gaskets here, the tightening nuts, and making sure everything goes back in place the way it's supposed to. What I like to do is actually like to add plumber's grease on the gaskets and the rubber pieces because it makes it easier for the next guy to work on it. And the next guy could always be me. So I always try to think of the next guy. Now we're putting on the body of this flushometer, the main part. You can see it's the engine, we'll pop it right on in there. Then we secure those coupling nuts. You can see we tighten them by hand first. And after we get them nice and secure, nice and straight, we bring out the pliers, tighten them up. You wanna preferably use smooth job pliers to not get any scratches on it and add insult to injury here after nearly flooding the restaurant. Got the handle on there. Now we're finally turning the water back on, make sure there's no leaks. And I actually like to WD-40 spray it, make it look nice and shiny. And who knows, maybe get a shot at those pancakes still.